Uh, what are the say? What, what do you mean? Second year quarterback. All right, uh, since I'm gonna be here, well, next year if we do it, can we go to a cheaper one? <laughs> can we go to a little bit cheaper? That was it. Was very nice, though. I'm just joking. It was it was nice. It was very nice. It was really rich. I feel. We all funded it. Did you did you get some good work out of it? Yes, we did. We did. We got great work. And uh, whoever hosted it, I know Will set it up, but it was amazing. I mean, they had a field for us. I mean, they um, took us golfing. They had, I mean, lunch set up. It was just uh, beautiful and just amazing. I'm sorry. Who's the best golfer of the bunch? I don't golf. <laughs> <laughs> I, know been, I know you've been here for the entire offseason. What's the kind of feeling for you as you start training camp here, getting ready for the season? Uh, my, uh, really just getting in shape. Get in shape, uh, learn the offense. Get in shape, learn the offense, uh, learn my quarterback as best I can and my teammates and yeah, get in shape and learn off. Lots happened since you joined this team. I mean, how's the feel of the team, all the acquisitions? How how you feel about the squad going into this year? I feel good about the squad. I always feel good. You know, whoever I'm working with, I mean, it's us against the world. You know, so um, I've been hearing only good things. You know, from last year to this year. So everyone thinks you know we're we, you know we're moving in a positive you know way. So I'm excited about it. And like I said, uh, if I'm working with you, I'm on this team. Like I don't care what the other team got. You know, who coaching them or whatever. I mean, I believe in us. So. You look at the workouts like, in Cabo and then obviously uh, Vanderbilt, you know, Will is setting a lot of that up. How do you feel he stepped forward as a leader? Oh, yeah, Will is, you know, he's doing everything. I mean, I played with Matt Ryan. Will's doing the same thing uh, Ice did. I mean, he's, 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 really, he's ready to work. I mean, and he's not, you know, satisfied with, you know, I'm sorry, with, uh, you know, just he wants it to be good. You know, we want to work to get better so that, you know, when the game's cut off, uh, we look good. You so. look like you look like zero percent body fat. Oh yeah, man. I'm a, can you get in? I'm a model, but uh, it's um, I'm a model, but uh, we uh definitely could get in more shape, man. That running, you cannot. I just something about putting on that helmet and coming out like I can go to the field and all season run around all day, feel good. As soon as you get out here, it's like I don't know, man. You just get tired, man. It's something yeah, different. What, what is the new offensive scheme like for you, Calvin and, and uh, Nick Holtz? you out in that regard since you have some familiarity with him? Yeah, I mean, the offensive scheme is good to me right now. That's all I can tell you, man. I like it. You know, I like it. I like getting the ball and uh, being around, you know, <laughs> an offense that's going to help me get the ball. So I like it, man. I don't want to get too much out, but I like the offense. You mentioned the wide receiver room when we talked to you last at OTAs. It's still exciting to be with a group of guys, and especially now first day of camp this year. Oh, yeah. We in a, you know, got a, a veteran group. Under the, you know, under, under the other guys, but uh, D Hop and TB, uh, it's great to be around those guys. You know, very confident guys. You know, very good in their craft and stuff. So I can learn a lot from them. But also being on the field with them helps. You know, the offense move the ball pretty good. With you know, with the guys we got. What did you have to work on health-wise to get yourself back here over the summer? Just grinding, man. Just take it day by day. For your first practice out here today, what was it like? You know, you probably remember your first day at Texas, but just how different was this and kind of the atmosphere and, and what you went through today? Um, my first day, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. My first day, <laughs> it was great, really, man. Just coming out here, doing what I love, really. It's great just being out here, just what? having another opportunity. How has it been just like with the coach staff, with, with some of the players? You know, a lot of attention is on you for, for obvious reasons. But how has that been for you to work with you all that? Oh, I'm used to it. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. You know? and, and you mentioned Jeff, you, you know, having him, having Keandre. Like, how yeah, big all those guys. Process? It's great, especially uh, having Coburn. You know, he was one of my older cats uh, at UT, so it's just great uh, being with him. Also, it just Jeff, I mean, Jeff is Jeff. Y'all, everybody know. So. And, and then you hear DeAndre Hopkins, he has some stuff. Uh, oh, I love that. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. What's the biggest difference at this level? Just kind of you found at least early on keeping yourself healthy and ready to right. go versus maybe kind of what you experienced in college. Um, I said the biggest difference is you like, you know, when you go come from high school and go into college, it's like the speed of the game. Just when it slowed down to me. Oh, be great. Byron, when it comes to pacing any rookie in themselves during their first year, something that maybe Tracy Rocker has talked to you about and what's that conversation been like? Um, just, just be the best you can be and just go out there and have fun and do what you do. But are you, do you pace yourself early or are you pretty much full go from the get go? I'm full go. Condition-wise, even though you weren't able to get in the whole offseason, you feel good? I feel great. 
Yeah, 100%. That's one thing I like about this staff also is just they take care of you. They, you know, they, they check on you. That's one thing I can say I like about this staff is it's like family. So. In particular? All the time. Yeah. You said a lot of the attention, you said, like, I'm used to it, right? Why are you used to it, and do you like it, or is that just kind of the way it's been? What's your... I mean, you said kind of having a lot of attention paid to you this early. You said, oh, I'm just used to it. That's how it's been. Like, why oh, I'm, I'm thinking he's basically saying, like, all the attention on you. Like, basically, he's saying, I thought he was talking about, like, is it pressure or whatever, you know what I mean? I never feel pressure, so. It's just, it is what it is. I do what I do best. What does it feel like first day of camp and what's maybe the goal to get through, for you and maybe the team to get through this? Um, just coming out here every day and competing and just being the best we can be and I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, I said um, earlier, you know, training with Trent Williams down in Texas with uh, G and then um, also um, just, you know, staying staying um, in shape, ready to go, lifting, positional work. And then uh, watching film, just to, you know, really prepare myself for what's to come. What the, sorry, we just got in here for the second wave. What was it like out there, back out here the first day? Yeah, I mean, it was great. It was really, really, oh my bad. It was um, great, really competitive, um, fast. I mean, you know, everybody's here. Everybody's competing for a spot. And, um, you know, I mean, that's what you're here for, so. What are the things that you worked on in the off season to get to this point? Um, I mean, the main thing is pass pro. Um, I feel like run game is definitely um, something that, you know, it's attitude, you know. I mean, you might not have the best technique, but if you show up with the right attitude, it'll take you a long way. Um, but, you know, pass pro, especially being a tackle, is something that, you know, you get paid to do, you know. So that's what my goal is to get a 1,000 pass sets this summer, it's really just to work on the angles. Um, so, I mean, I feel like it showed up out there a little bit, but um, definitely got to still continue to get some working. First off season here, kind of as a pro, were you, were you here a lot? Were you somewhere else doing Yeah, I was here. Uh, I think we had four weeks. Um, I was here for three of them and then, well, two of two and a half. Went to um, Texas with Trent to train for that uh, the rest of the time. So yeah, I mean it felt great being back out here. I think it's so it's so funny because I'm such a competitor that way that I want to be at the best today. But I do know that this the patience of this process has been huge, and me allowing my body to heal. You know you can't rush biology, um, but I feel like you know I've beat where I needed to be right now, and I couldn't feel better. You talked about you know feeling the rush, the pressure, and getting out here. How long do you feel like that kind of takes for the mental side to get back? Yeah, I mean, I think it I think definitely takes a couple weeks. I think where I was at punting on my own, it took about three weeks to get where I really wanted to be. And I think that that's probably a similar timeline, is, is probably about three weeks to a month of getting full reps, get feeling the rush, and, um, you know, that, that'll that really make the difference in uh, getting me to where I want to be for the season. What do you remember of the, of the, the hit, Ryan, and, and kind of what was the timeline afterwards in terms of what you could do? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I remember pretty much everything. You know, I, I remember being on the ground. I remember Vrabel being over me and uh, all the trainers and just knowing that, like, that definitely something serious had happened. And, um, you know, it's funny going from December 15th, laying in a hospital bed to now, you know, you can't, it's hard to imagine not walking and then being where I am today. Um, you know, this journey has been incredibly long and, you know, there's been setbacks, uh, there's been highs, there's been lows, but I think the main thing is, is that I'm punting again. And that's something that I never thought at seven and a half months I'd be able to do, so. Yeah, help, help us so understand, is it a surprise that you're out here doing what you're able to do this quickly? Yeah, I surprised myself, to be quite honest with you. You know, there was, there was things in this rehab process that, I had went through early on five months where I thought maybe there's a shot um, and then you have a couple setbacks um, and then you come back and then the next month it's even better. So uh, it's pretty encouraging and I've definitely you know, surprised myself and I think I've surprised a lot of other people just being able to come back and um, you know, I, I'll tell, the, tell you this, I'll never put the team in jeopardy. If I didn't think I was ready uh, to come back and practice, I wouldn't. And I think that these last three weeks have shown me that I'm on that road to, to getting back. What did you lean on to get you through? Oh, go ahead. What did you lean on to get you through that? I mean, it's obviously a difficult situation and process. Yeah, it's trust with the trainers. That's the hardest part with this. I've never been through an injury like this. You, you reach out to a couple guys that have had this injury, which is not very many, and uh, just see what their process is like. But having you know Mike in there every day, like reassuring, hey, this is part of the process. Even on some days where I wasn't doing very well, um, was so reassuring because then the next week I'd come back out and do even better. 
So that was the part that I had to lean on the most, was just trusting everybody whose expertise is better than mine in this. So.